In this question, it's asking me the molar solubility of silver chloride in water. And it gives us, uh, I guess it's silver 1 chloride specifically. So I've got silver chloride thrown into a bucket of water. It's going to dissociate in some way to give off one molar equivalent of silver uh, cation, one molar equivalent of chloride anion. This is a solid, of course. These guys are aqueous species. It asked me for the molar solubility of this. Now, molar solubility is how many moles per liter of this thing are going to be dissociated. That's what it is. It's not the same thing as KSP. KSP is the molar solubility product constant. Molar solubility product constant in this case is of course going to be equal to the individual concentrations of my silver cation multiplied by my that of my chloride anion. It tells me in this problem the product con or the solubility constant KSP is equal to 1.8 times 10 to the negative 10. So I have an actual number here. So how in the world do we do this question? Well, we actually do this question by doing an ice table. So I'll go ahead and write down ice here. And we'll begin by assuming that we have a concentration right at the beginning. When I take my so, uh, silver coin and throw it into water, its concentration is going to be 100% and 0% over here. So I'm going to just assume an initial concentration of 1, 0, 0. Now, gradually, this is going to dissociate to some extent, giving off these uh, ions over here. By what extent is it going to be? I don't know. It's, so I'm just going to call it x. Okay, so I have minus x right here. Because it's present in a one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one ratio, the amount of these that are formed as we eventually drift back and, forward, back and forth until we get to equilibrium are going to be plus x for each. Now the final equilibrium concentration then is going to be added, uh, achieved by adding up rows one and two. I've got one minus x here, zero plus x, or just x there, and the same thing over here. Now I can take these value, values and throw them in to their corresponding locations here. Notice that the uh, identity or this value right here at silver chloride doesn't appear anywhere in the KSP, so it doesn't matter. So we're going to go ahead and throw this thing over here. I've got uh, X for my silver concentration, X for my chloride concentration, setting that equal to 1.8 times 10 to the negative tenth. I've got, of course, X squared being equal to this number. I solve for X, and that final number ends up being 1.34 times 10 to the negative fifth. That is the molar solubility of silver chloride at 25 degrees Celsius. Oh, and, and parenthetically, by the way, this is in units of moles per liter, and the reason is because I've got moles per liter uh, for each of these, and they're multiplied together. So that gives me moles per liter squared, and then I take the square root of it to solve for x, and it leaves me back moles per liter. So there you go.